Hey, what's going on? This is Glendon Cameron, Money, Income, and Profit. Today's video is sponsored by HustlersKungFuLifeSkills.com. LifeSkills.com is something everyone needs. Under the video is a collection of several different courses that will help you develop these fundamental life skills you need to be successful in life. So just go below, look around what you need, and go ahead and grab it. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the mental, the strong mental that you need to be successful. It's very important that you get your mental up to par so you can be successful in these uncertain times. So with that, let's get into it. As a follow-up to the last video, there were so many people that I have known over the years who are making money online. One of the big things that stops people from making money online is mindset. This is one of the reasons that I devoted so much time to mindset because right now there's someone who's no smarter than you. <clears throat> they have no more resources than you do. They have no more talent than you do. And they're making money online. Seriously, consistently, I think the thing that people need to understand is, first of all, you mentally must claim it. You mentally must put it in your mind that you can do this type of thing. Now, for many of you, there's great benefit that will come from the courses that are under this video. Because uh, since I've had a little time to reflect, to understand my journey, how did I get here? First of all, it started with selling stuff professionally. And then that gave me the confidence to sell stuff on my own. I remember one day I was coming from an appointment and it just dawned on me. The only thing that this company knew about me was I had a business card and a cell phone number. And I remember taking a few of the clients to some showrooms. That's all they knew about me. That was enough for them to cut loose six figures for some office furniture. That was a serious realization that I didn't have to have as much as I thought I did to actually be successful selling commercial office furniture. What moment in your life have you realized that you can do what you want to do and you don't need as much as you think you do? Originally, put that in the comments because after selling that furniture the next thing that happened was the trajectory was pretty simple i was selling used office furniture which gave me the ability to stack some money also it also gave me a perspective one of the worst things that you can do is give your kids a crappy inheritance. And what I mean crappy is a very low expectation lifestyle. Because after I made that jump, after, because going back to the mental shift that occurred after I left the boarding house, and it was 100% mental. I remember that day with great clarity. I got laid off and the guy was like, well, I can get you some extra, you know, a little extra time. Maybe a week or two. And I said, no, I'll figure it out. And I think this is when the Earl Nightingale training really kicked in. Because <laughs> when Earl Nightingale speaking about people don't think 
and that was the programming of the Earl Nightingale stuff kicking in because I was like, I, I will figure it out. And I went back to my room and I had a mental pathway. Uh, number one, I needed to make more money, but I did not have, you know, it, it was just a great exercise in problem solving. That's what it was. First exercise was, okay, there are many, many different things that I can do. I don't have a reference. So in the food chain was the reference. So I created my own reference. And that got me into Renecrate. But the, the process of sitting down and figuring out what was missing and how to solve it was pretty interesting because I think many of you are in a situation where you have a problem and you haven't gone through the exercise of figuring out how to solve that problem. You know, you, you, you want to start a business, you want to start a hustle and you, you just haven't, haven't been able to solve that. What's the first step? First step is to write down what the problem is. The first step. The second step is to start thinking what you can do to solve that problem. Really put on your thinking cap. Really start going, what will work? What will help me get this problem solved? What will move this process forward? The third thing is to not censor yourself. One of the things that I see consistently online is that's so simple. I already thought of that. And I will push back on people and say, since you thought about it, why didn't you take action on it? It just seemed too simple. This is a huge, huge problem with people online because a, sol a solution may seem simple. They're looking for something magical versus practical. And something practical may be all that you need. Being practical may be the most that you need. Being practical. Let's take, um, for many of you who, who are like, Hey, Glennon, I really like the content you put out. I really enjoy the videos. I don't have any money to buy your courses. Now, if you've been watching me for any length of time, there are several ways. There are several videos that I put out where you can actually make money. Now, the, the problem with that is a lot of these ways that you can make money, you don't want to do. I remember years ago, I put out this video, how to get scra uh, scrap gold at garage sales. Uh, I put that out and I had one person email me. He was like, oh my God, this summer, me and my wife going out every weekend, we made $15,000 following the information in this video. $15,000. Thank you. This really, this money has solved a lot of problems. This money is coming in. So when someone says, I don't have enough money to get your course, what you're really saying is, I am unwilling to do what I can do to get money. This is a huge problem in today's society where we have people who don't want to do a certain thing. They do. They just don't want to do it. I'll link that video, how to get gold at garage sales. It still works. It still works. This video is several years old. It still works. But the thing is you must work the process. 
And that's where things tend to go kind of crazy because I see many people who are able-bodied, but they're not mentally able. They just don't have the mentality to do what they need to do to get to the next level. The stuff that I put in the courses is not things that I just came up with in theory. These are things that I have done to get to where I'm at today. Uh, Craigslist, hands down, was just as important as eBay and Amazon. And many people just did not know how to systemize and use Craigslist on a professional level. For years, I used Craigslist every day. I was making money off of Craigslist every day. Many people can still use Craigslist to make money, get leads, get customers. But because Craigslist is has a, a hassle factor with people flagging your ads and stuff, people just like, eh, I'm not going to do that. It's too much trouble. Right now, this is the time to start to build yourself because... There are many people where the, the, the hassle factor or the pain threshold is about to shift. What's more painful? Having no money or having the work to get some money? Many people are going to make this transition. Many people are about to be in for a rude awakening because once you... Um, I had someone who bought the child support course and when they realized how much work was involved, they were like, I, I don't really want to do this. Complicated problems usually have complicated solutions. Look at you. You're, you're broke. <laughs> That's going to be, it's not a simple solution to stop being broke, to move to another level, to, get to a certain point in life it's just not how does this change how does this happen so if you don't have it this is a, this is one of the things I want you to do I want you to go ahead and buy the hustlers mindset the audiobook and I want you to go ahead and get becoming the boss these are two products that will help you with the, ment the mental on what you need to do. Because once you get to a certain mental, it's, 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 it's hard to define. It's hard to quantify. Once your mental gets to become really big, like Grant Cardone has a massive mental. Ty Lopez has a massive mental. Gary V has a massive mental. You can't get to where these guys are without a massive mentality. You just It's just not going to happen. It, it's just not. Anybody that you see that's doing well, even some of these Instagram people have a massive mental because it that that's a very different type of online success. Uh, these people are pulled apart. They're judged. They're talked about frequently. And if you're going to be successful in doing anything, you just need to go ahead and get ready to be talked about, <laughs> lied upon, have folks say crazy stuff about you because most people are lazy. I remember I had this one guy years ago who had a problem with me. And he went hard. He went on to an online forum. He went to a uh, Reddit where they, you know, it's still up if you care to look for it. And someone in the Reddit board said, you seem to have some unnatural hate toward this dude. That's how blatant it was because there are many people who will work harder to get back at you than they will work harder to improve themselves. 
Because self-improvement is a very big part of this. It is a huge part of you going ahead and you creating the life that you want. This goes back to the mental. I mean, seriously. And for many of you out there who are trying to figure out some stuff, uh, 30 days to 2,500 is one of the best courses for you. But you're going to have to go through the course. You're going to have to listen. You're going to have to take action. You're going to have to do the exercises. You're going to have to do the classes. And this will, I could say, for the average person, within three months, you should be making, you know, 300 to 1500 bucks per month. Because everything has a similar framework. If you want to make money online, you got to follow a similar framework. This is one of the things I've talked about for the longest of times is mental and framework and process and system. These are very critical co co components to what you need to be successful selling offline as well as selling online. Because this is one of the things, um, all these stores and stuff that are closing, people think that, you know, it's all shifting to Amazon. It's not true. Amazon, uh, you know, online commerce only represents like 10% of all commerce. So all these stores closing represents a very real loss that is not being absorbed by Amazon. That's something you should understand. You know, part of that is bad uh, business strategies. Part of that is bad uh, setups by some of these companies. Part of that is uh, a bad way of doing business. <laughs> Part of that is you, millennials. Millennials are impacting many, many businesses. Um, get the book Upshift, uh, Upside. Let me see. Let me find out that book. We're emerging as hippie left wing revolutionaries. I am a leading edge boomer. In the late 1960s and early 1970s. Get that book because um, there are people right now who are preparing to spend hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars to get into businesses that are going to die because they haven't done their statistical research. I know it sounds crazy, but if you are a millennial, you need to look at what your fellow millennials are doing and figure out how to serve them. Uh, millennials, millennials don't like talking on the phone. <laughs> Many millennials will choose a business by the ease of how easy it is to do business with them, meaning that there is an online way to do business with them. If there is an online way, they may uh, pass that business altogether. Seriously. And it, it seems like a simple thing if you're like me. It's like just pick up the phone, make a phone call. But for this group of people, which is a huge, huge, huge number of people this is something that they just don't like doing and they will not do it and if your business isn't set up to serve them in the manner that they want to be served you're not getting their money uh, i've seen a lot of people talk about millennials don't buy stuff millennials buy a ton of stuff uh, millennials are changing dog food right now it's kind of crazy so getting back to your mental um one of the things that you need to do is read start reading every day you know, like 15 minutes a day that will strengthen your mental open up your mind and expand your perspective all right that's just a few nuggets for you guys today i will talk to you guys later